switch on two X-Zones and allow them to connect. Both X-Zones are now connected in an open network. In this situation, power down or removal of an X-Zone does not set off an alarm. By contrast, up to 16 devices can be connected in a closed network. To do this, press the blue connection key on one of the X-Zones. A plus appears on all of the X-Zones nearby. Press the OK key on every X-Zone that should be included in the group. Confirm the group by pressing the OK key on the first X-Zone. If an X-Zone is removed now, the others trigger an alarm. Use the menu to remove or add X-Zones from or to a group. Press the green key to switch to the menu. Select Config. Devices can be added with plus or removed with minus. ZZZ switches off group monitoring for 15 minutes. The bottom key cancels the group. To switch the group off, it is advisable to deactivate group monitoring with ZZZ. Otherwise, an alarm sounds after 30 seconds. On Power Up, group monitoring is deactivated for 15 minutes so that all group devices can be switched back on. Monitoring can also be started manually by choosing the OK menu. One advantage of the closed network is the transmission of the group's maximum gas concentrations to every device. Choose Net from the menu. The ID of the X-Zone with the highest gas concentration per sensor is shown. Change screen with plus. Pressing the green key on the XAM takes you to the menu. The menu items lead to the following functions. Local shows the gas concentration for the connected sensors. Net in a closed network shows the maximum concentration currently present and the ID of the device to which it relates. Config enables management of the closed network. Test carries out the connection test. Quick opens the XAM Quick menu, for example for fresh air adjustment. Modbus shows the parameters of the optional XZone COM. Holding down the OK key displays an information screen. Depending on the configuration, the display shows possible sensor error codes, maximum gas concentrations per sensor, and an information display with the X-Zone ID of the closed group, wireless status, network number, and group ID.